So, so we are on copyright.gov. Today's our drop-in session, and one of the things that um, I'm doing here is, is um, actually recording a session where we go in and register a copyright. And Kathleen Marcath is going to walk through that with me today. <clears throat> I'll post it online for everyone to be able to repeat and do this themselves. So again, it's copyright, C-O-P-Y-R-I-G-H-T dot gov. And in this top left corner, it says register a copyright. So I'm going to click on that. And then log into the electronic copyright office so here now this if you've never if you've not been a user before so mine kind of knows that i've been in here if you're a new user click here to register so we'll go in and we'll register for kathy kathleen M A R C A T H is that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And Kathleen, what's the e your email address? Um, ASL making. No M making. M making ASL making connections at Gmail. Okay. So I will do the same thing, ASL making connections as your user ID. <clears throat> and for now, I'll do password is, uh, let's try password one, two, three, and then you can go in and change it any way that you want. Uh, oh, you're typing password. Yeah. Password uh, one, two, three. And you can change these challenge questions. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, I just chose mother's middle name, Mary, because I don't, we don't want to be giving out any of that information. But when you go in, you can just modify that. Okay. So I'm going to, we got address information, phone information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording just so that, we can fill this out and get and move on to the next part. Hold on, let me. Okay, so once we added the address information and register, now that dumps us into this um, case kind of dashboard. So um, open open cases, working a case. So you've got once you've got information in there. Like if I was to look at mine, I would have open cases from where. I have filed um, already and it would show the status of them um, since this is all new um, right here registering a work you click on standard application and now this is tricky um, in one way because this is an old web a very old website so if you happen to be in a browser and it's not responding well I would say go change your browser because um, sometimes Firefox or one of, you know, or Chrome would be a better um, browser than Internet Explorer. Just certain, certain websites respond better to one versus the other. So here, um, we just click Start Registration. And now it wants to know what type of work that we are registering. So this is a story. We're going to put literary work. Now, after all of the, um, the artwork is done, if we want to come back in and copyright the artwork, we would just go to the visual arts and we would upload the artwork for it. So right now, we're just going to focus on the, the literary work and click to, to um, accept the description above. <clears throat> Okay, and then every all the navigation is at the top, so we could either save for later or just continue. So what's going to happen is as we progress through, we're going to hit all of these sections, and as we complete them, you'll see little check marks appearing here. So it helps you figure out if you have to go back and fix anything. So you see how 
type of work is now checked off and now it wants to know the title. <clears throat> so if we click new and we select title of work being registered and what's the working title right now Kathy? Um, right now it's my monster truck goes everywhere with me. And I don't know, at some point we might add a, something about the sign language to that. Okay. So let me. Okay, so now you see that there's a title here. Um, so we can we can hit continue. If you had multiple works, you could just do another new one. We'll hit continue. Now the the um, manuscript that I sent over. Um, I did put page numbers on it, but is it supposed to be been formatted any specific way? Uh, no, it doesn't. It, th there's no specific requirement. You're just copywriting the words that are yours. And you've, you've got some good formatting there, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so we're going to say no, it's not been published yet. Uh, we do expect it to be completed in 2020. And there's no pre-registration number that we need to worry about. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. So as we see, the check mark's still coming. Now we're going to have author information. So we're going to hit, um, actually, there's a new where you can add, your, add the author information separately. Or you can click Add Me because it already knows your information. It'll put your name here. Um, so here's United, we'll do United States for citizenship. Um, and you don't have to fill in anything that is not, doesn't have a red asterisk. So I always just fill in, you know, what's required and then just move forward. Okay. So the author created the text. And I'm just going to hit save. Okay, and now I'm going to hit continue. So it says, please identify the copyright claimants in this work. So the claimants is <clears throat> basically saying, who, who are you registering the copyright for? And in this situation, it's for you, Kathy. So we can just click the add me. And it's already got all the information it needs here. So I'm just going to hit save. Okay. So now we're going to hit continue. And then it asks you if there's any limitation to your claim. Meaning, you know, if you only have certain rights in a specific region or if there's any other limitation to it, you can put it here. Um, or if you had, if you were uploading the full book, and let's just say mm -hmm. you were copywriting the text but not the illustrations because they weren't yours, then you could say material excluded is artwork or photographs or whatever. So we don't have any limitations here, so we're just going to hit continue. And please feel free to um, take yourself off mute or holler out any questions as we go. <clears throat> now that it wants to know rights and permission information. So if you had a third party agent or um, a post office box that you prefer, you can add the information here or you can just click to add me and it will just fill in your information. You know, some large companies may have lots of different people doing all mm -hmm. these things. Uh, us small little authors just typically have ourselves going for, for most of this information. So now it wants to know who do you want who, the correspondence to be sent to. So once again, I'm just going to click add me. So it's going to send um, any correspondence to you, Kathy. And now it wants to know where should they mail their certificate. So I'm going to click add me. Now it takes, I would think it takes about 
two to four weeks before you'll start seeing a certificate, maybe closer to, closer to the four week mark. Um, and then you'll get a certificate in the mail that will say that you have this work copyrighted. Okay, so now it wants to know if you want any kind of special handling or special rush on this. Um, if you do not, so this is optional. If, if you don't, if you're not in a rush to have them turn the copyright around really quickly, I would just leave this out and just go to the next page and continue. And what is the standard time on it? Um, so here, I wonder, let me just see if they say what the standard is. No, it doesn't really say. Yeah, I, I would say it's probably more like four weeks. Um, and then here you're just certifying that you are the author. And you're going to put Kathleen. And if you had any notes that you wanted to add, you could put them here. Um, but then once this is done and your certification is done, <clears throat> now you they show you the full and complete work. And you are able to click the Add to Cart. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it in the cart for you, Kathy. When you go on and you log in, you can do your checkout and the fee here is $55 okay. and you can pay with your credit card or whatever that you need to do and that's it I mean it's it's that simple um, you just do the checkout process and then click submit work and that's it that's how you file and then the attaching the file yeah so what once they receive the payment then they will enable the link that lets you click and upload your file Oh, okay. So that's roughly all that you Okay, so now that the payment has been processed and we uploaded that, now this screen is where we get dumped to allow us to go and select the files to upload. So we can um, go ahead and do that. Let me just pause this while I locate the file. Okay, so now I'm going to select the file, go to Downloads, and here is the copy. So once I found the file, now I click to Start Upload, and it says Successfully Uploaded right here. Click here to complete your submission after uploading all files. So that really, since all we're doing is copywriting the text, we don't have a bunch of illustration files or anything like that. So I'm going to click here to complete. And it says here, claim submission completed, no further action required. So you'll be able to log in, Kathy, and check on the status. Um, you will have some get something in the mail probably in anywhere from two to three weeks and you'll have everything that you need um, with that so you're good you're protected your copyright um, is filed so no worries and now we can um, continue to move forward with your illustrator and be able to do you know, move to that next level of illustrations. And once those are done, we can come back and copyright those as well. Okay.